when working on your car and you got to make spot repairs, you know, there's just a couple of things you really want to think about before you, before you just kind of throw on some primer and be ready for the next thing. After you have the surface prepped and, and uh, you know, metal finished out, usually I like to, to finish metal out with 180 grit sandpaper. You know, take some uh, grease and wax remover. And whenever you use this stuff, you should use two rags. One is what you're going to wipe on the metal to clean any oils or uh, handprints or any kind of contaminants. Sometimes you can have, you know, waxes and other things that have uh, contaminated the panel from the surrounding areas. So do a good job scrubbing it down with the, a paper towel and then follow that up with a dry paper towel. The wet one kind of softens it up. It makes it so you can, uh, you know, get to it. And then the, the dry one actually removes the contaminants and also gets the surface cleaned and ready for primer. Once you have the surface clean, we'll give that just a couple moments to dry. We're going to use a self-etch primer. You don't want to use just a standard primer because a lot of those will just sit on the surface. Self-etch contains a, an acid. It's, it's a very mild acid that will actually etch into the steel and create an even stronger bond. Because usually if a paint job or any kind of retouch work is going to fail, it's that initial bond between the steel and the primer. Self-etch primer is a good choice. You can also use epoxy primers. I've had very good results with those. You want to make sure your can is really th thoroughly mixed. And I shook this a little bit earlier. And you want to apply light thin coats. The idea here is this is not your final primer. This is not your high build primer that you're going to finish, you know, do all your primer work. This is just a layer to create a bond between the primer and the metal. And then when you put on your other primers and surfacers, you have a surface that's well bonded to the metal to attach to. And using a fan spray, simply go over the whole surface. I like to do two coats. And notice you can still see the clouds and you can still see the metal through this because we didn't put it on so thick that it's going to cover all. What we mainly want to do is get down just a layer to bond to. Okay, we can tell just by the sheen that we were ready for our second coat. We're just, again, we're going to apply it about the same as we did the first coat. And, and it's just quick, even fan pattern across the surface. And when that's dry, we'll be ready to do whatever other body work we have to in the area. And we'll have a good surface for our paint and, and primers to adhere to.